Hello. I was doing a, an online quiz today about um, the laws of different countries and some laws that may sound a little bit uh, strange to you. We all know, if we travel, that different countries have different customs and cultures, and if you transgress these customs and cultures you can offend the local people. Also people need to be aware of the laws in different countries. Um, so in this talk I'll just run through what might be seen as some strange laws um, and some of the punishments associated with them. The first few are very general and the last few uh, refer to driving in particular. So we'll start in, in Europe, in Spain to be precise. Um, in some areas of Spain it's illegal to uh, just wear a bikini or swimming shorts on the roads and pedestrian ways near to beaches. Um, the Spanish want people to cover up, put a t-shirt on when they move away from the beach to go to the shop perhaps or to go back to their hotel. Um, moving to the Middle East now, to the United Arab Emirates, um, if you smoke these e-cigarettes, don't take them to the UAE because they are not allowed. Um, I found that a little bit strange because although e-cigarettes are probably not healthy, they are less harmful than a, a regular cigarette. Um, so yeah, a little bit strange. Um, a more serious one now, in, in I think it was in 2008, a Swiss gentleman flying into the United Arab Emirates was arrested under drugs charges because he had poppy seeds on his jacket. Um, the poppy seeds had got onto his jacket uh, after he ate a bread roll either on the flight or at the airport where he took off. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure what happened to this gentleman but um, yeah, the drug charges in the UAE are in incredibly harsh, so be careful if you're going there. Um, moving across to Asia now, uh, in Japan, apparently, um, if you arrive in Japan with a cold and you have some nose inhalers that you spray into your nose to clear your nose, um, don't take them to Japan because they're not allowed. I don't know why, it seems like, it seems like a strange one to me. Um, in Thailand, you can receive between 3 and 15 years in prison if you criticise the royal family. So uh, be careful about what you say if you go to Thailand. Um, moving down to Australia, um, if you are caught by the police swearing in public, you can receive up to six months in prison. Um, so be careful if you go to, uh, to Australia and have a, have a bad temper there. Now I said uh, I'd mention a few driving things, but firstly, I forgot one there, um, yes, fashion. Um, if you go to Zimbabwe in Africa, or some Caribbean countries and Saudi Arabia, you're not allowed to wear camouflage clothing, which is um, quite often in fashion. Camouflage clothing is the type of clothes um, with the multi-colours like uh, people in the military wear, um, particularly the army, if they go into the jungle. Um, so moving on now to driving, um, in Russia and Belarus, uh, you're not allowed to have a dirty car. Um, at least that's what the quiz said. I actually think that refers specifically to the license plate on the car that the police should be able to clearly read your license plate. And I think the same is true in many countries, actually. Uh, in Scandinavia, that's the, the countries of Sweden, Norway, Denmark and Finland, you have to drive with your lights on. Uh, even if it's not dark, if it's a bright sunny day, your lights have to be on on your car. Um, in France, um, drivers have to carry a breathalyzer. Um, now a breathalyzer is 
one of these things that is used to check if you've been drinking alcohol before getting behind the wheel. Uh, in the UK, the police carry these, and if they stop you, they can ask you to breathe into this machine to check your alcohol levels. In France, you have to carry your own. And finally, in Cyprus, um, if you eat or drink while driving a car, you can receive a fine of up to 85 euros, which I think is, is quite reasonable, because if you're eating or drinking while you're driving, you're not fully concentrating on the road. So the, um, the chances of having an accident, I guess, are, are a little bit higher. Uh, so I think I agree with that one, yeah. So yes, be careful if you travel abroad, um, not only for the customs of a country, but also for breaking the laws. They may be different to what you are used to in your own country. Thank you.